Welcome to the Daily Devotionals podcast with Pastor Paul Pett from Redeemer Lutheran Church. Subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast app. Good afternoon, Redeemer family and everybody joining us on the internet around the world. Our devotion for this afternoon is based on our epistle for this coming Sunday, the second Sunday of Easter. The epistle is 1 John chapter 1, verse 1 through chapter 2, verse 2. 1 John chapter 1, verse 1 through chapter 2, verse 2. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and have touched with our hands, concerning the word of life. The life was made manifest, and we have seen it and testify to it and proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the Father and was made manifest to us. That which we have seen and heard we proclaim also to you, so that you too may have fellowship with us. And indeed, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And we are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you, that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin, but If anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. I want you to picture in the gospel reading for Sunday what John is talking about here in his first epistle. They are in that upper room with the doors locked. Jesus appears to them, appears to them and says, peace be with you. And then listen to John's first words here in this epistle. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and have touched with our hands concerning the word of life. So here he's talking about Jesus and about the apostles' experience of seeing Jesus, hearing Jesus, watching Jesus, even touching Jesus to experience his presence, his power, his love, his mercy, his grace, his righteousness, his holiness. Referring to him as life, verse 2, the life was made manifest, And testify, we have seen it and we testify to it and proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the Father and was made manifest to us. Clearly referring to Jesus Christ, the life of the world, the light of the world, seeing him, walking with him, hearing him, experiencing his ministry firsthand. That we, at which we have seen and heard we proclaim also to you so that you too may have fellowship with us. Coming into fellowship with Christ is through the waters of our baptism, through the power of his word by faith, through the body and blood of Jesus and the Lord's Supper. There we are having fellowship with him, fellowship with Jesus, and through that fellowship with God the Father as well. As, the, as John writes, and indeed our fellowship was with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And we are writing these things so that our joy may be 
complete. The joy of knowing they're having the opportunity to proclaim Christ and tell the next generation and that next generation coming to faith. The joy of seeing it come full circle in the power of the word and the sacraments having full effect, creating, sustaining, strengthening faith of those who would follow after John and the other apostles. In verse 5, this is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all, referring to his absolute perfect holiness and righteousness. So if we say we have fellowship with him and we walk in the darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. That, that's sometimes hard for people. We all commit sins. And if we think that he's not, he's talking about we have to live perfect in order to get forgiveness of sins, that just simply doesn't make any sense. He's saying if we're living in the darkness of unbelief, if we're trying to fake it, if we're trying to masquerade an unbelieving heart, it can't be done. You know, it's, it's just a flat-out lie, and God sees through that. But then in verse 7, But if we walk in the light, meaning in faith, in Christ, trusting in him, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. We gain forgiveness of sins through Jesus' blood by walking in true faith, taking hold of it, embracing it, believing it, and recognizing its grace, its mercy, its power, and its love. As we see in verse 8, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And that's what true faith is. Recognizing sin, confessing it unto God, and turning to him for forgiveness. Again, the contrary. Verse 10, if we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. But then listen to John's words starting chapter 2. My little children, I'm writing these things to you so that you may not sin. The idea is to try to avoid sin. Turn from it. Restrain ourselves from it, if at all possible. But we can't be perfect. We never will be while we live on this earth. And so... He says, but if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He goes to God on our behalf. He is our advocate. He was the one who suffered and died in our place. He was the, our substitute in punishment, hence the propitiation for our sins. And not just for ours, but for the sins of the whole world. As we read these words of John, in purest gospel, we find joy in our salvation, joy in the forgiveness of sins, joy in his gift of eternal life, joy in Jesus, and joy in him as our advocate to stand before God in our place and to seek the cleansing of our sins and the giving of life in his name. Amen. Please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, as we have received these gifts, the gift of your grace and mercy, help us to walk in the light. Help us to live in the light. Help us in true and sincere faith to embrace the gift of forgiveness of sins which Jesus won for us. Forgive us for all the times that we fail and help us to turn always to our advocate. For when we sin, he stands before you that we might be forgiven and saved through him. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> this is our last devotion for this week, so have a blessed weekend. 
Uh, I won't have a devotion on Monday uh, as uh, I have a circuit pastors meeting on Monday that uh, will be occupying my time. So uh, we won't have a devotion on Monday, so we will see you uh, on Tuesday of next week for our next devotion. May the Lord be with you. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Thanks for listening. At Redeemer Lutheran Church, our mission is to share with all people the good news of Jesus Christ, teaching faith and love. Learn more about our ministry at RedeemerLutheranGB.com. Thank you.